हेलो फ्रेंड्स वॉर्म वेलकम टू यू ऑल टू माय चैनल वर्ल्ड ऑफ जोलॉजी दिस इज अवर फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन यूनिट टू ऑफ द पेपर फर्स्ट दैट इज बायोडाइवर्सिटी एंड इट्स कॉन्जर्वेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल कंसीडर द ओरिजिन ऑफ द टर्म द टर्म बायोडाइवर्सिटी वॉज फर्स्ट पॉइंट बाय वॉल्टर जी रोजेन इन नाइनटीन the biosphere comprises of complex collection of innumerable organisms known as the biodiversity which constitute vital life support for survival of human race biological diversity abbreviated as biodiversity that represents the sum total of various life forms such as unicellular algae protozoa bacteria and multicellular organisms such as plants fishes mammals at various biological levels including genes habitats and ecosystem biodiversity the term is derived from the two terms bio and diversity bio means life and the second term diversity means variety of animals therefore the term biodiversity is the variety of life on the earth biodiversity is the variety of life forms on earth and the essential interdependence of all living things as defined in convention on biological diversity signed at rio de janeiro in brazil in 1992 by 154 countries the biodiversity defined as the variability among living organisms from all sources including inter alia terrestrial marine and other aquatic ecosystems and the ecological complexes of which the area part which includes diversity within species between species and of ecosystem according to iucn in 1998 iucn means international union for conservation of nature the variety and variability of species of their population the variety of species of their life form and diversity of complex association with species with their interaction and their ecological process which influence performance <coughs> what is biodiversity biological diversity is the variety and variability among the living organism and ecological complexes in which these organisms occur now we'll consider the next point that is importance of biodiversity everything in natural world is connected this means that everything we do as a human affects biodiversity and whatever happens with the biodiversity ultimately affects us the world with more diversity is better as it provides protection against things go going wrong diverse ecosystem diverse species and genes can only make your planet more healthier and more resilient biodiversity enhances the ecosystem's ability to do these essential ecological processes we'll consider what are these essential ecological processes that is first one that is oxygen production production of oxygen that occurs during photosynthetic activity of the green plants second one that is it forms and build healthy soils filter water on its way to the sea pollinate crops and plants generally 
store and recycle nutrients within the ecosystem resist feral invasion a lessening of biodiversity in an ecosystem that weakens the ability of that system to survive and perform the ecosystem services that we as human benefits so much from biodiversity is therefore totality of genetic diversity species diversity and ecosystem diversity the genetic diversity refers to diversity within the species that is intra species while diversity between the species that is inter species is the species diversity which is also known as organic organismic or taxonomic diversity and the third one that is ecosystem or ecological diversity refers to the diversity at the habitat or ecological level therefore biodiversity diverse biodiversity is the totality of genetic species and ecosystem diversity we'll consider one by one genetic diversity refers to the variations of variation of genes within species this covers distinct populations of the same species such as thousands of traditional rice varieties in india or genetic variation within a populations genetic diversity genes are simply the traits that we inherit from our parents and can pass to our offsprings or children for example traits such as hair color eye color curly or straight hair that is nature of the hair also the um, shape of the nose and all characters which are morphological characters which are considered in in this exam example genes are the basic units of life on the earth they are segments of the chromosomes they are responsible for both the similarity and differences between the organism therefore no one organism is similar with that of the another example changes in the color and markings of birds within a particular species is due to genetic diversity genetic diversity is the variety of genes within a species each species is made up of individuals that have their own particular genetic composition this means a species may have different populations and each population may have different genetic composition that means the species may have different populations and each population may have different genetic composition to conserve genetic diversity different populations of a species must be conserved genetic diversity because our environment is constantly changing we need to diverse a range of genes to be able to adapt preserving variable variety within the population of species is essential for preserving the ability of that species to cope with the environmental changes an organism's ability to adapt to the environmental change will determine how well it survives in the long run that means that ability of animal is responsible for the survival of that particular animal the greater the diversity of genes in the in a population the greater the chances that some individuals with passes the genes needed to survive under condition of the environmental stress such as climatic change drought fire introduction of new predator in the environment etc significance of genetic diversity how it is helpful or important 
it helps in the process of evolution of species as well as process of speciation that is formation of new species second one it is very important in the development of adaptation of species in the response to changing environmental condition it is important to increase environmental fitness and survival value of the species in the given environment genetic diversity is also important for increasing the agricultural productivity and improvement in animal livestock like poultry and dairy animals this is example of the genetic diversity how within the species that is uh, within that particular uh, species intra specific we can say the intra species the chitta clouded leopards leopard to slow leopard all of these uh, all these animals shown in this slide do even though they possess common ancestor their variation in the color pattern or the fur is according to the environment in which they are adapted fur color in the rabbit is also same that is first is the full color capital cc which is dominant gene to all other alleles then chinchilla chinchilla partial defect in pigmentation dominant to ch and that is himalayan variety and um the recessive c allele albino here again the color pattern is according to the genes which are carried and their expression with reference to their environmental conditions other examples of the genetic diversity such as human races african human being do have a human being is having common ancestor the african european or asian race is different from one another even the dog family with common ancestor show variety of species the bird species reptile species Uh, like turtle tortoise and uh, freshwater one that is terrapin even though they possess common ancestor their uh, adaptation to that particular environment is um, that reflect the particular species then frogs variety of frogs etc here we'll consider the levels of interaction with this uh, diagram or diagrammatic representation because genetic diversity as we discussed previously is the diversity within the species means intra species while diversity between the species that is inter species is the species diversity and the third one that is ecological diversity refers to the diversity at habitat or ecological level due to which changes are inherited into that particular individual depending upon the uh, or due to the ecological factors uh, or the particular environment in which the organism is living depending on the diversity is habitat or ecological um, at a ecological level and the first one that is that starts genetic diversity starts from the molecular level to the cell then individual organism then population and community whereas second one that um, up to the kingdom third one from the particular um, uh, environment to biosphere biome ecosystem patch or the habitat these are the levels of the um, or the scales of the organization and levels of interaction of the biodiversity we will consider the second one that is species diversity that means inter species diversity between species that is inter species that is species diversity or organismic diversity or taxonomic diversity it refers to variety of species within geographical region 
it usually depends upon the morphological physiological and genetic characters of the individual of a given species even it takes into account racial difference in the in, in the individuals of the closely related species in the given natural habitat for example diversity of marine fish and the other animals thus species diversity is related with the number of different species present in an ecosystem and their relative abundance in the habitat diversity is greatest when all the species present in the given ecosystem are equally abundant in the area there are three different species uh, diversity or the aspect of species diversity one that is species richness it is the total number of different species which are present in an ecosystem or within a biological community the example that is total number of bird species in sindhudurg which is about 350 tropical area have greater species richness as the environment is beneficial for large number of species that means total number of different species present in a particular ecosystem or within the biological community second one second aspect is the species abundance species abundance is the total number of individuals observed in a population of given species at a given time t and in a given unit area a of natural habitat for example 50 parrots 100 crows 5 king fishers and likewise relative species abundance that is species evenness it is the ratio of number of individuals of a given species to the total number of all organisms of all the species existing in a given area of habitat or in the given ecosystem if the number of individuals within a species is fairly constant across communities it is said to have high evenness and if the number of organisms varies from species to species it is said to have low evenness high evenness is important as it leads to greater species diversity two communities may be equal reach or equally reach in the species diversity but may differ in relative abundance for example each community may contain five species and 300 individuals that is number of individuals are same 300 and species are also same that is five species but in one community all species are equally common therefore 300 divided by 5 means 60 individuals of each species are observed it means they are even in their distribution while in the second community one species has 100 individuals and remaining four species are not 100 but these species are respectively 40 25 say for example 15 20 individuals it means they are uneven in the distribution one species significantly outnumber the other four it is possible that the ecosystem may have high species richness but low species evenness that is richness is high but low species evenness for example in forest there may have large number of different animal species that is reptile species bird species that means number of different animal species such as reptile and birds they are many more or the rich that is high species richness but have only a few member of each species of them that is low evenness even though large number of different animal species inhabit that particular forest they have only a few members of each species amongst them therefore 
low species evenness is observed. In a forest, there may be only a few animal species like deer species. Low species richness, but large number of each species, that is high species evenness. Species diversity varies in different geographical location, with tropics having highest and declines as we move towards poles, that is at the south or north pole. Besides, some species like kangaroos and duckbill platypus are found only in Australia, while Asian lion, Indian elephant is restricted to India only. The most species rich environments are tropical rainforest, coral reefs and ocean bottom zones which are situated in the marine environment. Species richness increases with increasing explored area. <clears throat> Third one that is ecosystem diversity. Ecosystem diversity deals with the variations in the ecosystem within a geographical location and its overall impact on the human existence and the environment. There are two main types of ecosystems existing on the earth such as terrestrial and another is aquatic. Terrestrial means land ecosystem like forest, desert ecosystem or the grassland ecosystem and tundra. Aquatic ecosystem includes freshwater, wetlands, isurine and marine water. We can also include man-made ecosystems like dams, cultivated lands, for fruit crops or other agricultural crops, zoos, etc. Ecology, uh, ecosystem diversity or ecological diversity is a group of organisms interacting among themselves and with the environment which is known as the ecosystem. Thus, an ecosystem is a community of different species interacting with one another and with their non-living environment, exchanging energy as well as matter. Biodiversity boosts ecosystem productivity where each species, no, more, no matter how small, all have an important role or what we term it as key role to play. Greater species diversity ensures natural sustainability for all life forms. This can be represented with the help of the diagrammatic representation or the tree diagram. Structure of ecosystem that shows a biotic component and biotic component. A biotic component includes physical and chemical factors whereas biotic component which shows living organism that includes producers that is photosynthetic plants on which consumers are dependent, primary, secondary, tertiary, quaternary consumers are there and ultimately on the death of the producers and consumers their body is decomposed with the help of the microorganisms of the decomposer so as to release the chemicals and physical component from their body back to the environment. Ecosystem diversity in India, we have wide variation in terrestrial ecosystem diversity such as forest. Four main types of forest are observed, evergreen, silent valley in Kerala and Dandeli in Karnataka, semi-green that is Amboli which is in our district near Savantwadi. Deciduous, that is the Khan Plateau. Conifers, Kashmir Valley. Deserts include hot deserts such as Rajasthan and cold desert from Ladakh. Grassland ecosystem that includes seasonal grasslands, meadows, cultivated lands like paddy fields, mango orchards, and others. Tundra, 
where snowy habitat is observed on Himalayan tops or south and north pole in India. In India, we have wide variation in aquatic ecosystem diversities also, such as freshwater ecosystem that consists of flowing and standing water. Flowing water ecosystem means lotic and the example is rivers, springs, creeks, etc. Whereas standing water ecosystem means lentic that includes lakes, ponds, swamps, etc. Wetland that includes swamps and marshes. Issuries which is actually the combination of marine as well as fresh water and mangrove ecosystem. Issuri is formed by the combination of fresh water and marine environment. Marine ecosystem that include ocean, seas and bays. Ecosystem diversity is also represented by this picture. Thanks for watching my video. If you like, do like, share for the benefit of the mag maximum students and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank you once again.